all right guys so today marks 30 days of our 30 days of photoshop retouch and madness where we get to retouch a picture every day for the next 30 days and finally it's over yeah it's been quite a journey i'm happy to have done this with you guys it hasn't been easy as expected i couldn't finish it within the 30 days range i planned initially but then i managed to still finish it up and that is quite um rewarding for me i must say yeah it hasn't been easy at all but i just want to say thank you to you guys for joining me throughout this journey i hope you learned one or two things from all the videos that i did for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it as well yeah so today being the end i'm gonna finish it up with this last picture over here so i have this image here and i'm gonna try to retouch it i actually shot this image myself my name is Akodidia, by the way and welcome to this channel if you're new to this channel and yeah let's just jump right into it so i'm gonna make a duplicate layer like this and then by pressing ctrl j over here we have this layer here and then quickly gonna go and then examine the image and then remove all the pimples and stuff on the face that I don't really like so I'm going to use the patch tool to do this if you want to find the patch tool is on the um, tools layer over here so you're going to select it and then you're just going to come over here and then just select and drag to a much cleaner area like that that's basically how to remove it so Just gonna circle and drag to a cleaner area like that. All right, so with this image, you don't have too much to remove on the face. So we're just gonna proceed to the next step that is creating our frequency separation adjustment layer. So I'm gonna press and hold Control and then J to make a duplicate layer over here. So I'm gonna rename this to color. And then I'm gonna rename this to texture. In this case we're gonna edit our colors separately on a different layer and then our color on a different layer as well all right so i'm gonna put this in a group once more i'm gonna hold shift and then select the color layer Control g and then rename this to fs that is frequent separation all right so i'm gonna click on this arrow over here to open this group i'm gonna select the color layer and then i'm gonna come here to filter and then come here to blur gaussian blur and i'm going to set the radius to 6.6 .6, as you can see over here so you're going to set it to um, a radius where you're not seeing so much details on the image all right so 6.6 .6 is fine i'm going to select okay like this and then this is what we are having all right so i'm going to come back to the texture layer since the texture layer was on as you can see over here so you were not seeing the details or how the um, color layer actually affected the image so let me just put it off like this so that you can see how it's affecting the image over here as you can see so i'm going to make it visible once more and i'm going to select it like this i'm going to come to image i'm going to move to apply image and then i'm going to change this to color as a layer and then the channels i'm going to leave it at rgb i'm going to come here blend in and change this to subtract scale at to offset as 128 i'm going to select okay as you can see our image is looking grayish don't worry about that we'll fix it right now so we're going to come here to the texture layer then we're going to come to the um, blend modes and change this to linear light you can see our image is back to how it was when we started okay so we're gonna select the color layer over here like this and then we're gonna come here and then select our mixer brush tool we're gonna use the mixer brush tool to do this so the mixer brush tool selected this is a sentence that we're gonna use so this sets to um, soft round brush as you can see over here then this is a folder that holds all the brushes you're gonna leave it you're gonna come here and then change or keep this to clean brush make sure this is selected this is deselected all right and make sure this is selected and you're gonna come here set this to custom width at 100 percent 
load at 48% and then mix at 57% and flow at 30% and smoothness over here at 10%. All right, so we're gonna come back and then with the color layer selected, we're gonna zoom into our image over here. <coughs> Then we're just going to start brushing our image. All right, so we're just going to start from the forehead and just going to brush this gently like that. So as I always say, always keep brushing within the tones that you are editing. So this is the highlights. So you're just going to maintain the highlights and then just brush within the highlights and then just blend the edges into each other as you can see over here we are now transitioning into the mid-tone so we're just gonna brush the edges just um, blend them into each other smoothly like that so I'm gonna come to the side as well I'm gonna do the same here Just take your time when you're doing this. So we're just gonna continue and then keep brushing everything in gently. All right, so I'm quickly gonna speed this side up. I'm gonna be back in a bit. All right, guys, so this is what we're getting now. And it's okay, so let's quickly whiten the eye. So we're gonna come here and then select the Titan Eye White, and like that. It's gonna play for us automatically. We have it here. So we're gonna select the layer mask. Then we have the brush tool already selected for us. All right, so if you want this, I'm gonna leave. Um, the link in the description box below you can just download it and then edit with it so i'm just gonna paint into the eye like that make sure the layer mask is selected this is the setting right but then this is the layer mask so you select the layer mask and then you're just gonna paint onto the layer mask you're not gonna paint on the group like this it's not gonna happen nothing is gonna happen over here yeah, so always make sure the layer mask is selected before the brush appears over here for you to brush. Okay, so you just go brush to remove some of the yellowish stuff from her eyes. Let me zoom out. Let's come here and add a little bit of brightness to it so we're gonna come here select curves and then we're gonna make a point to one here and then just drag it to the top a little like this and then I'm gonna hide this let's check before and after this is the before and this is the after this is before and then the after let me zoom out control zero to fit the screen this is the before and then this is the after it's looking kind of weird so I'm just gonna 
fix this real quick. So I'm gonna come here, and just close this. Oh, let me open it and then decrease the opacity on this. And then I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open the, this one, selects the texture layer. And then I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna select the spot healing brush too. I'm gonna come back to the eye. And then we're gonna clean the eye up a little bit. So let's just brush here to remove this yellowish stuff from her eyes. I'm gonna move here to the other eye and then do the same to it as well. Let me zoom out and see how the image is looking. Before and after, so let's blend this in. So you select the color layer over here like this. And then we're going to come back to select. We mix the brush tool once more. We're going to come back to the eye. And then let's bring in some of the whiteness into this place. Come over here and do the same to the side. Let me zoom out. Let's check the before and after. This is the before. This is the after. This is before the white. This is for this is after so yeah we kind of fixed it but then I want us to add a little bit more brightness to it so we're gonna select the curves adjustment layer double click on it I'm gonna come back here and then just increase it a little bit more to add more brightness to it let's zoom out to fit the screen I think it's too much so okay let me increase the opacity here like this and then i'm gonna double click here and drag this a little bit down like this let me come back to the teeth um the layer mask zoom in and then try and then remove some of the whites from it like this to define the eye because i think it's too the white is too much zoom out <laughs> let me do it one more time to the side I always try to make it look as natural as possible yeah I think this is fine so yeah that's basically what we got from this image all right guys so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this journey i'm going to be posting regularly like i used to do before i started this challenge yeah i'm going to catch you up in those videos and i'm going to do another um challenge as well so you all to subscribe to this channel to catch up with that challenge yeah <laughs> see you guys in the next one bye bye for now